first thing that we want to do in our new lab7a.cpp is to put in a programmer's block and also an include section. So far we've always included embed.h, but now we have to include digit display.h as well. Now when we put in integer main void and put in a couple of brackets, we can check to see if this part of the code is correct by just holding down control and pressing B, which does a quick compile. And the success down here says that all of the syntax that we've got so far is correct. So it needs to have this include, needs to have embed.h included. We have to start looking at digit display.cpp. This is going to have our class functions in it. And the first one we have to look at is this one, digit display, to set up the pin names for our four digit display. So I'm just going to double click here, control C, and go back to our program here. And up at the top, after our include section, we're going to put in digit display, and then what we want to call the actual class name. So we're going to say segs, and then we're going to put in D2 and D3 which are the actual pins. And again, let's just do a quick control B to make sure that we've typed that in correctly. So everything is good. So let's take a look at one of the other things that we need to do in here. So we have display on, we got display off, we got set brightness. So I'm going to set our brightness. Let's take a look at that. Now brightness itself has a value from 0 to 7. So we're going to just say set brightness, control C. And when we go back to our program, what we have to do here is say segs dot set brightness and let's give it a value of 7 to make it as bright as we can. And let's take a look at writing an integer. So we're just going to do write, control C again. Let's go back to our program and we're going to do is say segs dot control V write and then we can put in whatever number we want. So I'm going to put in 1, 2, 3, 4 and I'm going to hit semicolon and then I'm just going to say forever Let's just sit here. And so let's see what the effect of that is when we run our program.